Hey guys and welcome to Robo Circuits. This is your host Prashant and today we are going to look at stencils. So first of all let's talk a little bit about PCBs or printed circuit boards. If you are a maker then I am 100% sure one time or other you may have came across PCBs. So PCBs are printed circuit boards. On these kind of green boards, we have some tracks that are used to connect components with one another that makes our circuit really compact and very easy to use. Now, whenever we are making a PCB, we have two kind of components. One are through hole or TST components and the other one is surface mount devices or SMD components. In the SMD components, the components stick on top of the PCB using pads. These small shiny rectangular boxes are called pads and here the component sticks using solder. Let me show you something. So this is how a SMD, this ESP is stick on this PCB. You can see I have a bare PCB and I have a soldered PCB. So in this way, the ESP sticks on the PCB. So this kind of soldering is called SMD soldering. This we can do with our bare hand or we can use machines. There are multiple methods to do a SMD soldering. But as you can see, the finish is not that good. Let me show you one more PCB. Here is one another PCB. You can see I have soldered everything using my hand, using a soldering iron, but the solder joints look very bad and the soldering doesn't look good. Let me show you one another PCB, which is almost similar to this. Check this out. See, the work here is very professional. You can see everything is really well soldered. And each and every solder joint is perfect, as perfect as it came from a factory. But let me tell you something. This PCB is made by me using my bare hands. Then what is the difference between this PCB, this kind of soldering and this kind of soldering? Both are done by me and both are done by hands. Actually, this one is done by a soldering iron and a solder wire while this one is done by a stencil and solder paste. So in this video, we are going to see how we can use a stencil to solder good PCBs such as like this. So this video is going to be too much interesting. Watch this video till the end and I'm sure you are gonna learn something good today. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first of all, we need a PCB so that I can teach you how to do the soldering with a stencil. Today we are going to make a controller for an addressable RGB LED strip. This will be a PCB for one of my next videos. But for reference, I am going to take this design. So when designing the PCB, I usually prefer LTM Designer. Because Altium Designer is connected with Altium 365, which lets me connect with my team where I can share my PCB designs, my circuits and get it checked by the concerned person and it makes my life really, really easy. Because it is connected with the professional Altium Designer software, I can do real-time simulations, connect with my team, do the team meetings and much more. LTM 365 makes my life really easy. If you want to try this one, then the link is given in the description where you can get one month free as well. So here is the PCB design on LTM Designer. As you can see, we have our ESP S3, then some components such as a power regulator and a USB port. That's all we need. Now let's order these PCBs now let's go to glcpcb.com and order the PCBs. 
When I was ordering the PCBs, I make sure that I order a PCB stencil as well. Then after 10 days, I got my PCB as well as my PCB stencil. So here is the stencil. It looks something like this. You can see there are cuts on the stencil where the solder paste can flow. That allows us to consistently apply solder on each pads. First of all, we will make a fixture so that our PCB, which we want to apply solder paste on, should stay in the middle and in alignment with our stencils. So we will take some PCBs, cover the center PCB with other PCBs and tape them or you can secure them with uh, some glue or something. But make sure the center PCB must not be glued. Now we will take the stencil and place it above the PCBs. Now we have to, with our steady hands, we have to align all the pads where the solder needs to go on the cuts on the stencil. It takes some time. Take your time and make everything exactly the same. And once it is done, you can take a piece of tape and apply it on the stencil so that it do not change its position. Once it is done, now we can apply the solder paste. So here I have this solder paste. I can give the link to this solder paste in the description of this video. So we will take a little bit of solder paste using a tool. Then we need to spread this solder paste on the stencil. So make sure to take a flat surface. You can take another PCB or maybe a credit card. Now press down the solder paste on the cuts on the stencil. When you will do this, the solder paste will go and stick to the pads on the PCB. Make sure to fill each and every hole. Now we can lift up the stencil and check if each and every pad has been applied solder but there is one missing. Let me do it once again. Now I think everything is done. Yes, the solder paste has been applied on each and every pad. So that means applying the solder paste is completed. Now we will take components one by one and start placing on the PCB. So here come the ESP32S3, then the voltage regulator. You can use a pointed tweezers to place components. Now here is the 10K resistor. Then the capacitors. And in this way, we can place the SMD components on top of the pads. Here comes the most satisfying part. You have to take a heat gun, set the temperature to 320 degrees and start applying heat on the PCB. Wait for around 15 to 20 seconds. The PCB will start to heat up. Keep the heat gun up to 2 to 3 centimeters above the PCB. Take it to each and every component, the solder paste will automatically start to melt. Do it with all the capacitors and the chip. Make sure to heat up the whole chip at once. And using a tweezer, you can make some modifications. Once it is done, you will be ready to go. Let it cool down and here is the final piece. I have soldered the LED as well as the button which was a TST component so that was really easy. Now you can see the chip has been soldered properly and on the back side you can see it is completely flat without any components but on the top there are some SMD components which look professionally assembled. So in this way you can solder your PCBs as well. Take a closer look at the PCB. It looks so good. And each and components are properly soldered. So this is how you can do 
your SMB soldering using a stencil and solder paste. So this was it for this video. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more of similar videos like this, then consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.